won't ring massively in the middle of the, uh, of the, the, the talk state. And I've just noticed mine isn't, which is kind of embarrassing. So I should sort that out as well. Why is it? Yes, indeed. Um, if you are asking questions, please, at the very minimum, state your first name. If you want to, you can give your full name and, you know, who you work for or your affiliation or something else like that. But at the very least, be polite and give your first name. Um, we have a code of conduct, and the code of conduct is very important uh, to INOG. And one of the things that I'm going to do in a moment is to read it out in full for everybody. And we think that's a very important part of the meeting. Myself and Donald and Christian uh, were invited to attend a workshop that was being held in Dogpatch Labs uh, for a group of meetup organizers around trying to increase diversity and make events more welcoming. Um, a very useful couple of hours was spent at that and we're, we're gonna try and work on some more ideas and, and some more things for INOG to, to really, as I said, make the whole event more welcoming, get more people in through the door and uh, spread the good word. So that code of conduct, which we're just going to read before we go back to the intro, but um, our ongoing aim is for INOG to be an open, inclusive, and friendly, and safe community. All of you in this room are part of it, and the way you interact with each other is, is what defines us as a community. Our code of conduct, available in its full form on our website, inog.net, applies to our meetings and any other interactions with the community. The very short version is to be excellent to each other, which means that our group is dedicated to providing a friendly, safe, and harassment-free experience for everyone, regardless of gender, gender identity, and expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, ethnicity, religion, or lack thereof. Currently, if you have any issues with anybody in the community, any actions, any, you know, any things that take place, uh, you can speak confidentiality, confidentially to either Donal or Christian, uh, either online or offline. So admin at inog.net will reach them. And we're hoping to include some more people in that, and um, preferably at least one woman uh, into that group to, to make it as comfortable as possible for anyone to approach uh, that group and, and make, a, make a report if that is necessary. Um, and we're, we're working on more ways of improving that situation, uh, should, it, you know, should it be necessary. Um, so, how can you interact with this community? Well, you're here, so that's the most obvious way of interacting. But uh, there's also, we have a website, we have a Slack channel, which you can, you can join, um, and we can tell you about the details of that or invite you. We're on Twitter, at inognet, or hashtag inognet. And there's now a wonderful, really obvious way you can interact with the community. You can give us money. Um, this is, is not, sadly, a free enterprise to, uh, to run. So while the meetings are free and will remain free, one of the options now on the sign-up page for a meetup, you may have noticed, is a donate option. So if you or your company would like to, to donate, there's a few options there, then we would be very happy for you to do so. So please take a look, have a think about it. Uh, there's a lot of time has gone into this and, and money goes into the stickers and all those kind of things. And by the way, there are stickers. They're just over there. They're lovely. Uh, so please have a think about that and consider it. So we have a brief intro in a moment from our hosts. And then we have three talks this evening, which I will find when I manage to look back at Slack on my phone. Um, so we have three talks this evening. We have Patrick Cullen from Facebook on building commodity networks, Fran Garcia from Hosted Graphite on full mesh IPsec network, um, and then Sergei F. Kobolov and Vlad Ankutia from Arista on streaming telemetry part two. If you weren't aware of part one, you can now get it on VHS. Uh, so, um, and then at the end of the evening, there will be some more social time. Uh, whatever beer you've left, um, and, and the pizza, which is still there. Uh, we have to be out of this building by no later than 10, or they set the dogs on us. 9.30, you wrote 10. Okay, so 9.30, or they set the dogs on us, um, which, is, which is important. Um, we don't have a designated place to go this evening afterwards, but there are many hostelries in the vicinity if you wish to continue chatting and uh, enjoying each other's company. So. That's all from me, so I'm going to say thank you to Arista again and uh, introduce David.
thank you uh, everyone for coming. We're very glad to have you here tonight and to be able to host the INOG, um, which we've done maybe once before, I think. Um, so um, I'm guessing most of you have heard of Arista. You've obviously heard of the, you found us anyway by being here. Um, but uh, hopefully, um, I should probably just say a few things. So my name is David Sutton. I'm the director of software engineering, also the site lead here. Uh, this is a software development facility. So we've been here about two and a half years. Uh, it's uh, almost entirely software developers here. We have some tech as well, um, and a few other miscellaneous people who will probably just feel insulted right now. Um, and, uh, you know, as Arista has been growing, they've been building out the team across different parts of the globe. And uh, the Dublin office is the second most recent development office. We will start a new one in, in Austin, Texas, just recently as well. So you're very welcome. The, the facilities, so you saw uh, just where you came through, there's the lifts. Don't use those if there's a fire. There's a stairs right beside it. The bathrooms are directly opposite the lifts. For some reason, they, there are signs over them, but sometimes people don't spot them. So the bathrooms are directly opposite the lifts. Um, there's another fire exit down through here, if we needed to go that way, or else there's a door just past the Arista fridge there, which brings you down to the other side of the building, and there's another fire exit down that end if you, if you should need that. So I think that's all I'm going to say. So thank you very much. So, okay, thank you very much. So, um, yep, our, yes, I was going to introduce him. Is that okay? I mean, Okay, <laughs> I'll speak closer to this mic. Is that, is that a, it's the first time anyone's told me they can't hear me. Um, so our first speaker this evening, as mentioned now repeatedly, is Patrick Cullen from Facebook, um, and he'll be speaking about building commodity networks. Thank you very much. 